What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Anything Better podcast, NFL edition for Bet MGM going into week number five. As you guys can tell, I am sitting here um, alone. Well, not alone. We always have the, the Greek freak is always by your side. You know, he's like uh, Maverick at the beginning of Top Gun 1, where, uh, who was it? Was it Wolfman? Wait, who was the one that was freaking? Oh, Cougar. Cougar. Come on, Cougar. Come on, Cougar. As a kid, I never knew what his problem was. He was just always there shaking. Like, what's the matter? As a little kid, you're like, why is he staring at that woman and child? And, the you know, and now you realize. But uh, <laughs> Andrew Themlis is, oh, Andrew's like, we got to go. Got to go get Paul. Something's wrong. <laughs> um, we are here. Um, Bill. We have a weird week right now, guys, but we're never going to not do our picks. Um, we're never not going to do our picks, but Bill had to go and take care of a personal matter. I am going to the airport because I'm going to Europe. So we need to do these picks this way. Um, but don't you worry because we have thought out picks and uh, we are uh, ready to go. But before we get into the picks, we have to, of course, talk about uh, the BetMGM, our amazing sponsor, BetMGM. As you guys know, we've been working with BetMGM now for our, our second season. We'll be using BetMGM lines to make all of our picks, and we'll have special offers for our listeners each week. If you haven't signed up for BetMGM yet, use bonus code BURR. Couldn't be easier, guys. B-U-R-R. Okay, all you got to do is use that bonus code and you'll get 100% risk free up to a thousand on your first wager. Here's how it works. You're going to go to BetMGM, uh, download the app. You're going to sign up using bonus code Burr. You're going to deposit uh, at least $10 and place your first wager on the game. You'll receive up to a thousand in free bets, which is incredible if you lose uh, even if it loses, uh, just make sure you use bonus code Burr, B-U-R-R, when you sign up. And uh, these are the best lines out there, guys. That's why we use them. Now, going. so what's going to happen with this episode is you're going to hear my picks, and then Andrew will cut, and you will hear Bill's picks, okay? Uh, we have the lines. Even though we're in different locations not doing the show together, we know exactly what's going on in the NFL. So last week, I believe, I, I well, I know I went two and two. Because uh, the Detroit Lions and the Bucks screwed me over, but I did get um, I did get uh, the who won for me the uh, the the who did I pick? I picked the Chargers. Definitely won for me and the Cowboys. That's right. So I had the Chargers and Cowboys. Thought the Lions were gonna come back, and I was gonna start three and zero going into that Buccaneers game. But uh, what could I say, man? Maybe the Chiefs are going to make me eat my words. They went into Tampa, beat Brady after a loss. Bucks got back-to-back -back losses. So I go two and two. And uh, Andrew, did Bill go one and three? I think Bill might have went one and three. Um, but we will have all of that. Yes. We will have all that information. So there you go. Bill goes one and three. I go two and two. And uh, we looked at the we looked at the um, lines. So we will do our picks. Uh, we'll do our picks now. All right. So this is this is a different. Last week, the lines were kind of close and similar. Now you got eight and a half point lines, 14 point lines, three point lines, seven, five and a half. It's a weird week, Andrew. It's all over the place this week. But um, all right. So one of my picks here out of my four, I'm not going to say my first because Bill is going to do his. But um, my, I'm going to go with my first pick of this episode will be, I have to do it. I'm going to be there. It's the New York football giants. I'm on the field, guys. I mean, I'm on the field with my family in London to see my New York football giants play the Packers. By the way, the Giants are three and one. They're going against the juggernaut um, Aaron Rodgers. But here's why I like the pick. I like the pick because we are getting eight and a half points. And we're in London. We're going to be fired up. You control the clock with Saquon Barkley. You let Saquon Barkley run. I'm not saying we win the game. I think there's a chance. but uh, So you're saying there's a chance. Um, but I think the way we can control the clock with the running game, if we could give him some protection there, um, I like the eight and a half points. So I'm going to take the New York football giants plus eight and a half with me and my family there in London. For no other reason, one of the Giants needs to listen to our podcast and say, hey, let's do this for old Paulie. <laughs> right? Come on, man. He's got his wife and kids are there. My daughter and son are going to be in jerseys. What are you going to do? Lose by nine? All right. 
this is where it gets tricky, guys. Okay, this is where it gets tricky because, like these these games, I said there's a lot of there's a lot of weird ones. Like the Rams need a win because the Rams are in you know two and two, but the Cowboys are clicking. Do I touch that? I don't know. Does Bill touch that? I don't know. The Raiders won. So did the Chiefs. Do I touch that? I don't know. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with my second pick, though. What I'm going to do with my second pick is the Jacksonville. I don't know why I'm doing this. Okay. It's hard to say the Jacksonville Jaguars with seriousness, but they were in that game against the Eagles, dude, in Philly. They were in that game. As a matter of fact, they were winning that game 14 to nothing. Then the Eagles come back. I'm going to take the Jaguars minus seven at home after a loss. You know my theory. A good to decent team after a loss coming home. They're playing the hapless Houston Texans. I like the Jacksonville Jaguars to bounce back. Trevor Lawrence to have a big game. I like the Jaguars to win that game by a touchdown. So I'm going to take minus seven for the Jags. All right. Um... Not touching that one. I know Bill's going to touch that game, and I'm just going to be a gentleman and let him take it, I think. Um, I'm going to take the Los Angeles Chargers again. On the road, minus three. Herbert is fully healed. I'm going to take the Chargers going into Cleveland, winning that game by a field goal. I love it that it's only three points, minus three. My third pick will be the Los Angeles Chargers. Uh, a, a healed ribbed, a healed ribs, uh, Justin Herbert wins that game. So I'm going to take that one. And for my final pick, I will take, oof, oh my God, I almost just did something, Andrew. And then I, it was like when you're about to hit the golf ball and then you step <laughs> back, you know, and like you line up and you think it's right. And then I just was like... I need to take a step back, but I'll take the Thursday night game. I'm going to take the Broncos at home after a loss. There's the theory. There's my theory. That's actually the perfect example of my theory. For you people that don't know, I have a homecoming theory, and my homecoming theory is exactly that. A good to decent team. Okay, they lost a tough one to the Raiders. The Raiders needed a win. They got it. Now Russell Wilson goes home against the Indianapolis Colts. Again, it's a low line three. Should the Broncos beat the Colts by three in Denver? Yes, they should. Those are my picks. Um, and right now it is time for the what? For the Monday night special. It's time for the Monday night special, everybody. And this Monday night, I'm not going to lie, it's a doozy. It is a division rival. It is the Las Vegas Raiders coming off their first win, going into the Kansas City Chiefs who keep winning, and uh, it is a seven-point spread. The under-over is 51, okay? Um, right off the bat, I like the under. Right off the bat, I like under 51, okay? That's a lot of, po that's a lot of touchdowns. You know, that's what's 48 points is how many touchdowns is 49? Uh, four, right? Four touchdowns is 49? Seven, five. seven touchdowns is 49. Seven times seven is 49. Jesus, God, how bad is my math? Five is five times that is 35. So, wow. So, that's a lot of touchdowns. That's seven total touchdowns. I don't know why I was thinking. I don't know why. I, I Yeah, that would be actually the way my math was. I'm like, oh, 28 is four. I don't know how I got that. Uh, there, um, was some, there was some two point conversions in your head. I was, I was yeah, I don't know what I was thinking, dude. That's thank God. Yeah, that, that's why I don't help my son with his algebra. Um, okay. So I like the under, and, and Bill and I are in agreement that I'll just read these, these off for the Monday night special. I like under 51. Um, that's a lot of touchdowns, even if they, that's seven. To, I, I like that. So, uh, as a matter of fact, seven touchdowns can happen and we still win the bet. So I'm going to take, we're going to go under 51 to start. Now here's where it gets tricky. Do the Raiders go in there and lose a close game, which I think can happen. You think, what do you think, Andrew? You think the Raiders are going to win? No, I actually think the chiefs are going to win. And I, I think, think the chiefs are going to blow them out. I think, the Raiders look good 
overall. Like, I, I mean, I'm they coming into certain weeks where I'm like, yeah, the Raiders can win this game. But I, I don't, I don't know. I, I, right now, I mean, Do the, the Chiefs now, win this game by more than seven. Is that what I you're think, thinking? No, I think they worked out most of their problems for now. Maybe not playoffs, but for now. Ooh, you're talking about the Chiefs. Yeah, I'm saying the Chiefs are worked have worked out most of their problems and 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 they're they're still they're they're still Mahomes gonna make it happen over Carr in the fourth quarter. Mahomes gonna make it happen over Carr in the fourth quarter is definitely something that I think most people agree with. But here's the thing. The Raiders cannot this is borderline. I mean, I don't want to go as far as saying playoff implications, but here's the deal. The Raiders are the Raiders are one and three, dude. If the Raiders, the Raiders are one and three, dude, with Devontae Adams, this is a division rival. Bill always talks about those. Now, you know, when I see those division rivalry games, even when both teams are bad, like the Falcons, Saints, stuff like that, it's always close. If the Raiders go one and four, their chances of doing anything this year are finished. So I think that they go into the game and we get better odds for our fans. I like the seven points. I like the seven points. I like the Raiders. I'm not saying the Raiders are going to win the game by any stretch. But I could see the Chiefs beating them by a field goal and the Raiders hanging in there. Also, the Raiders are kind of flying high with their first win. Maybe they think they might have figured something out. They were playing a decent team in the Broncos, and it'll be better odds for the people. I don't know. I think Carr and Devontae Adams start something this week. You know, I think everybody's taking the Chiefs, which makes me not like it. Um. So we're going to go, we're going to take the points, Andrew. We're going to take the plus seven points. We're going to take under 51 and we will take, um, I mean, Mahomes to throw one is not going to be great odds, right? Should we do Derek Carr to throw one? If you think that they're going to, they're going to cover, then he's going to have to throw one. Derek, so, yeah. Derek Carr is going to, Derek Carr. I mean, if the, if, if the under over is 51, and the, I mean, Derek he's Carr. Cover, he's going to have to throw three. So if you believe the he's, cover, he's, then yeah. And he's got Devontae Adams. I like that. I think Derek Carr to throw one will take the Raiders getting seven and will take under 51 for the Monday night special, guys. I'll be honest. I really like that. I really like that. The only thing that would suck is if it starts out 21 nothing. But I like Carr to throw one. Like you said, he almost has to, which yeah, is a really you, good – If you think he covers – you can't put money on them covering and not put money on car throwing one. Well, that, that's that's exactly right. And and maybe the defenses hold a little tough. 51, that means Vegas thinks this is going to be a big-time shootout, which is another reason why Carr is going to throw one. But we're going to do that. So there you go, everybody. That's the Monday Night Special. Derek Carr to throw a touchdown. The Raiders getting seven and under uh, 51 overall points will be your Monday night special for the anything better um, bet MGM NFL preview for week number five. Enjoy Bill's picks. All right. With my first pick. Oh, Billy winless. The one win wonder one in three every fucking week. I like the Tennessee Titans minus two against the Washington commanders. I don't know why this only, it's only two points. I have no idea. I don't know if there's somebody hurt on Tennessee Commanders got their ass kicked against the Eagles, and then they shit the bet against the Cowboys. And I bet them last week, and they fucked me. So, uh, so fuck them, because I'm petty. This is a petty bet. I'm telling you right now, minus two. I'm also I'm taking I'm taking the Colts. Colts, I think are, are, are they're like this. They're like this. They're like this. They're like they're they're fucking due. And everybody thinks, oh, you know, uh, Reggie Theus being the quarterback now of uh, Reggie Lewis. Why can't I ever remember his fucking name? The guy from Seattle. He's the quarterback of the Broncos. They think he's going to come in. What's his name? What's his name? Russell Russell Wilson. Wilson. Thank you, Mike Bertolina at All Things Comedy. I'm going to take the Colts plus three. I mean, mean, the game hasn't even started. I already have three points. Why wouldn't I do that? First drive, easy seven. What the fuck did I... All right, I'm also going to I'm going to take my New England Patriots minus 3 against the hapless Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions. You know what the problem is over there, Andrew? The what? first guy who bought the team was a football guy and he knew football and they won three fucking titles. Yes, they did. All right, with that that Bobby Lane guy going out fucking hitting the Hooters. The first Hooters, the original one in 1953, right? 
<laughs> and then ever since then, they keep passing it down to the family. And evidently, nobody taught those kids how to throw because they can't fucking run a team to save their life. They At some point, they need to step out. It's like a whole family of Jerry Joneses. You know, yeah. it's just like, just shut up and let the football people do. You know, go get a facelift. Get out of here. All right. So I got Tennessee minus two. I got the Colts plus three. I got the Patriots minus three. And you know what? What's going on with those Dolphins? Is Tua, Tua Tunga Fufaya, is he coming back? He's coming back. Yes, no. He's supposed to play, but there was a concussion protocol last week that he, or they, he should have had gone into the... There's an Italian in the corner saying, I doubt it. And I'm talking gambling here, so I'm going to, you know, you dance with who brung you. Uh, am I going to... Oh, Los Angeles charges. Verzi took that, you fucking goddamn son of a bitch. All 580 took it, didn't you? Um, I don't know where to go from here. San Francisco. Uh, what do you think, Mike? They're going to go in there? It's, it, Mike Bertoli and everybody. It, they're, they're minus five and a half going into Carolina where they got Baker Mayfield with something to prove. Dog shit. What do you mean he's dog shit? The guy, the guy won a playoff game for the fucking Browns. Look at the oh, look the at the numbers. QDR, the, the, the league right now. Well, it's probably because he's playing for the Panthers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Summer defense, take the Niners. All right, fuck it. I'm taking the 49ers because a guy from San Francisco just told me so. I love Italians. I can't, I can't lay off. You know what I mean? I just feel like there's going to be wine and some fucking food or some shit. All right, those are my picks. And what did we do for the Monday Night Special? Uh, Paul wanted under 51. Uh, the Raiders plus seven and car to throw one. I like that. The Raiders. The Raiders are due. I mean, what are they, 0 4, 0 3? Yeah, this is make or break for the Raiders right now. So that's why he, yeah. he made a case for that. Uh, you know. You know what? I think they come out and they wear those white jerseys with the silver numbers. Everybody gets a little more amped up. And I think they come out and I think they cover. They bust some people in from Oakland. It's going to happen this week. Yeah, <laughs> real old school Oakland people. Yeah. Okay. Not, not, not the fucking uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show Raider fans. I mean, yeah, yeah, those fucking, the guys who stabbed those people at the fucking Stones concert, right? They bring those guys in at 80. All right, that's it. Those are my picks. Uh, gamble responsibly. Uh, and and there we go, man. That's uh, that's pretty much what we got. Um, when I come back from the trip and Bill's back and everything is better, we will do, be doing another Anything Better. So for all the fans asking what's going on, it's just been with Bill uh, doing stuff with a project, with uh, my traveling now, coming back in the middle of the month. That's what's going on. But the Greek freak is on it. So all you guys reaching out going, oh, you guys still doing it? Yes, we're still doing it. We're just going to finish out uh, what we're doing. And, and well, don't, forget, don't, don't forget to tell the listeners that they can watch you on the NFL Network in London. That's true. That's true. For all the shit that you hear me talk on this um, – you know, your boy's not just your boy's the, the NFL knows about your boy. Make no mistake about that. So I will be on uh, NFL networks, uh, N NFL total access on. Um, so I'm I'm filming it Wednesday night. So we're it's what it's it's six hours ahead and I'm going to be on in the eight o'clock hours. So let's do the math on that. Yeah. Uh, five hours no. It's five hours difference or six, five. It's five. Yeah. OK, so it'll be around, I guess, two o'clock. It'll be around two o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday. Um, and it'll be Wednesday night where I am, but I will be live on there with uh host Derek Carr. I'm, I'm gonna be oh no, not Derek Carr. That's uh I'm, his brother, David Carr, is one of the hosts. So we'll be talking about that. Hey, I'll even tell him I took his brother. How about that? Um, and uh you guys can check that out as well. Also, don't forget if you go to Paul Verzi's uh the Paul Verzi YouTube channel. Um, you can check out my last appearance on um Good Morning Football, or at least a segment on it with the Tom Brady stuff. Check out the Verzi Effect, check out Bill's Monday Morning Podcast, all the stuff that we have. Guys, if you're listening to this right now and you're gonna be in DC October 19th, I will be doing one night at the DC improv, and then the next night on the 20th, I'll be at the Philadelphia punchline. All right. And if you are listening to this and you're in the UK, we added a show. Um, so this uh, Saturday night at 10 p.m. in London, I will be at 21 Soho performing there. 
there you have it. Those are our picks. Do not forget to download, okay, the BetMGM app. Use bonus code B-U-R-R. Couldn't be more simple, all right? And all you got to do is put a minimum of $10. You're going to get up to $1,000 in free bets. And even if it loses, just make sure you put in the bonus code uh, B-U-R-R and you will be able to bet with that and get up to $1,000, which is phenomenal. They have the best lines. And I got to tell you, working with them these first two seasons has been an absolute pleasure. So um, check out those lines. Enjoy your NFL uh, football Sunday and Monday and Thursday for week number five. And let's uh, let's see uh, if we can um, get some wins here and make you guys some money with the Monday Night Special as well. That is it for uh, for us.